space, the infinite expanse in which everything exists. Us, Earth, the solar system, galaxies, black holes, everything we know and probably a lot more that we don't. In this video, I thought I'd share with you 10 interesting facts about space or the universe. With the help of a friend of mine, Andre, who also has a YouTube channel and will share with you a few interesting facts as well at the end of this video. Number 1. When we look up to the sky at night and see the many stars and their constellations, we're actually looking into the past. The stars we see in the sky are incredibly far away from us, and because of that, some of them are already extinct and don't exist anymore. It's just that their light took so much time to get to us that by the time that it does, the source isn't there anymore. For instance, the star Betelgeuse in the constellation of Orion is about 640 light years away, so the light we're seeing from the star left it 640 years ago, traveling at light speed and arriving to us today. So the light we're seeing for that star left it around 1370 AD, during the Hundred Years War between France and England. Number 2. The largest diamond in the universe has been discovered by astronomers at 50 light years away. It's called BPM 37903 or Lucy and it's located in the constellation of Centaurus. At over 40,000 kilometers wide, it's larger than Earth and weighs 10 billion trillion trillion carats. Now considering one carat diamond costs up to $6,000, my calculator isn't even capable of calculating how much this one would be worth. It's pretty cool to imagine that maybe in the future we'll have spaceships that mine these types of things throughout space, collecting their resources and bringing them back to us. Number 3. One year on Venus is shorter than its day. Venus is the planet in the solar system which rotates at the slowest speed. It rotates so slow that it can complete a full orbit around the sun before fully rotating 360 degrees on its axis, which makes it so that their day is longer than their year. Another fun fact about Venus is that it has one of the solar system's most inhospitable environments, or maybe the actual worst of all. It has constant electronic storms, high CO2 values, a way too hot temperature averaging at a cool 462 degrees Celsius and is constantly shrouded by clouds of sulfuric acid. So I guess when space tourism becomes a thing, Venus won't be in the top 10 destinations. And these inhospitable weather conditions are a common thing throughout our solar system. Jupiter has fast winds and the Great Red Spot, a gigantic hurricane type storm which has gone on for the last 300 years. Mercury and Mars have extreme temperature changes in the same day. Saturn, Neptune and Uranus also have extremely fast winds. So if we ever get to exploring those planets, we're gonna have to make sure that our ships and suits are prepared to face and neutralize the effects of those awful environments. Number 4. The universe is filled with invisible stuff. All the planets, stars, galaxies and asteroids that we know only make up an estimated 4% of the universe. According to astronomers, the other 96% are made up of things or substances that either cannot be seen or that also aren't easy for us to comprehend. A lot of these things would be dark matter and its existence is based on the gravitational influence. A hypothesis is that dark matter is formed by exotic particles that don't interact with regular matter or light and are therefore invisible, but their mass exerts gravitational force, just like normal matter, and so they affect the velocities of stars and other things in the universe. This is an example of how little we know about the universe. There's so much stuff out there that we just have no idea about. So many questions that are without answer and that will probably be for a long time to come. Worse than that, imagine the amount of things that exist or the amount of questions that we can seek the answer to that we don't even know about or that our minds can't be capable of comprehending or imagining. Number 5. Even when you're standing still, you're still moving. 
any body or object on earth is constantly in movement. You can be laying on your bed, sitting in a couch or at your desk watching this video and you're still moving and moving pretty fast. Not only is the earth rotating around the sun, but our galaxy, the Milky Way, is also rotating at 225 kilometers per second and also moving through the universe at around 305 kilometers per second. If you add those two up, we can be sleeping and still moving through space at over 530 kilometers per second. And we can add to that the rotation of the Earth. If the Earth were to stop rotating, for instance, we would be launched forward or backwards at an insanely high speed. So if anyone ever tells you that you never go anywhere, you can just tell them that you're racing through space. Number six. While it is highly unlikely that we are the only intelligent species in the universe, as far as we know right now, we are. This makes it so that for now, we can say things like the human brain is the most complex object in the known universe, or that humans are the most intelligent species in the universe, or that the blue whale is the largest creature in the universe. We don't know of the existence of any others, so in the meantime, we can say this and have it be true under our current knowledge. Number 7. We're made of stardust. This sounds like one of those lame things that you say, but in reality, almost every single element found on Earth today, including in our bodies, was created in the burning core of a star. Also, a lot of materials that we find on Earth are also elsewhere in the universe, coming from the same or similar origins. So I guess you could say that we are not only inhabitants of the universe, we're part of the universe itself. Now I'm gonna hand the narration over to Andre for the last three facts about the universe. Hello everyone, my name is Andre. First of all, I would like to say thank you for having me. I'm a fan of the channel myself and it's an honor to be here. With that said, let's continue with our facts. Number eight. Sometimes we forget how big the solar system actually is and how far apart things are in the universe. For instance, if we could fly a plane to Pluto, the trip would take more than 800 years at the average speed that planes currently travel. This is probably the biggest obstacle we face when it comes to space travel and exploration, distance or better yet, the time it currently takes us to travel those distances. Before we can set out to colonize the universe and spread some more Starbucks and Apple stores through the universe and create Earth's galactic empire, we need to figure out a solution to reach further regions. One solution, at least inside the solar system, could be to build stopping points where we could refuel and just relax for a little bit, like a moon base, a Mars base, several space stations and so on. Number 9. You cannot walk on Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus or Neptune. In the solar system, only Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars have solid surfaces. Jupiter and Saturn are gas giants. Hmm, that reminds me of someone. Neptune and Uranus aren't exactly gas planets, but their surface isn't solid either, other than maybe their core. So if we ever colonize those planets, our settlements and them would have to be straight out of a science fiction movie with some type of cloud cities or submerged bases. The other three planets, Mercury, Venus and Mars, also have other obstacles to our presence on them, just like we saw with Venus before, but that's a whole other topic. And last but not least, number 10. You become taller in space. Spending time in a zero-g environment causes the spine to stretch. On Earth, gravity keeps the vertebrae in place by constantly pushing them together, but in space, without gravity, the vertebrae will naturally expand a little, making you taller. Essentially, in space, gravity isn't pulling you down, like it is on Earth, so your spine straightens out, and therefore you can grow as much as 5 centimeters taller. This happens a lot with astronauts who spend time at the International Space Station. Recently, Japanese astronaut Kanai tweeted saying he grew 2 centimeters after coming back from space. So hey, if you want to get taller, just become an astronaut, it's that simple. However, once you get back to Earth, the planet's gravitational pull will probably reverse the whole process and your height will go back to what it was before. Well guys, that is it for me, goodbye Earthlings. And those were 10 fun and interesting facts about space. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you have any additional facts you'd like to share, then leave a comment below and subscribe to catch more videos. If you can, check out Andre's channel and if you enjoy his content, 
make sure to subscribe to him as well. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.